Hey y'all, it's your bestie Asia Sierra and I am back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, caress the like button to become a bestie. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. So this video today is June paycheck number one. It's actually a whole, tomorrow will make a week late. I guess because it was a three-day weekend with Memorial Day, it threw me off because all of my bills didn't come out until yesterday. And I didn't want to do the video and throw off my budget, so I just waited. And then I was like, oh, if I wait too long, I'm going to be broke because I've been spending. Y'all know I'm on this thicker little fetish thing and... Yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as you guys know, we're going into our sticker groove and these are so, so cute. Ryan from Mama's Got a Budget and this was her June limited edition sticker kit. And I absolutely love her budget kit. It's so cute, but all right, let's get past that. So we're budgeting for $1,700. We did Fed loans. The actual was a hundred. Well, we paid them a hundred dollars. Y'all, I can't believe I've been giving these people a hundred dollars a month, and my payment is like three. 40 something or 350. <sighs> the stress. Y'all should see me put my hand. My hand is on my face like I'm tripping. Chase is 184. That's the minimum. And I will make another payment next check for debt snowball. ATT, my that's my actual phone bill. This was the bill for May. Because I'm um, because the bill is due on the 26th, which is after it goes into my June bill, um, my June paycheck. I'm just kind of, I guess we could say kind of behind, but not really because it was paid on time. Savings, I put, you guys know I did, I do $100 a month into my savings. My envelope challenge... This was actually my last month for the envelope challenge. So it's 316. I did six months for my envelope challenge as opposed to one year. So envelope challenge is done. It's 316. That money is already in my savings account and it's not going to be touched. If you watch my video on building my emergency funds you know that the envelope savings challenge went towards my emergency fund bringing me to about four thousand dollars saved fpl that's florida power and light that's our light bill i'm not going it's not due until the 27th i am paying that out of paycheck number two so that's at zero Total this up, it comes to $771.29. Now we go into our cash envelopes. Cash envelopes for gas, I'm only budgeting $50 out of this paycheck. My allowance, I'm budgeting $100. Household, we're budgeting $20. Grocery, we're budgeting $50. The thing with grocery is I've already gone to the grocery store, so I'm probably not going to fill this envelope. Eating out, we do our 20, which always ends up going to grocery anyway, but just in case, I always put 20 in there. And then giving, we're doing $50, making the total $290. So now we are going to start stuffing our envelopes. All right, so I forgot to tell you guys that Amir does not get any money because he got a lot of birthday money. A lot of it went to his savings, and then I took out a little bit for his spending. Y'all already know my baby started 
he done spent his money. He wanted those public sugar cookies. So he spent his little $4 or $5, whatever it was, on his public cookies. Because I'm not buying that junk. Because I don't eat it. Gas. We're going to... Oh, y'all, look. I have money in my gas envelope. I honestly didn't even know. So... 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I have $20 in here. We are going to add 50. So that'll give me $70 in gas. Y'all know that's actually really good because I don't put gas in my car. Because I don't go anywhere. So we're still gonna stuff it. Giving gets 50. There's nothing in there because like I said, I've been buying stickers from other shops. And yeah, so we're gonna put 50 in here. My allowance, I get 100. Of course, y'all know ain't nothing in there because I spend my money. <laughs> my budget gives me permission to spend 20, 40, 60, 81. So if I put it there, I'm going to spend it and get what I want. Household gets 20. There's nothing in there. I think we ended up buying some. No, let me tell y'all where household went. So for Amir's birthday party, I decided <laughs> that I was going to go to the grocery store and get the little food or whatever. Get to the get to the front of the line and baby, it surely went over. We went over. I went over budget. So I was standing in Walmart Looking at the numbers keep going up. The balance keep going up. So I just started going through my envelopes and just taking out money from each envelope. That it was. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I knew I was going to spend more because I had, it took me a while to, I didn't save enough, but it's okay. But I was going through, I was like, I'm not touching my debit card. I'm going to go through here. So I mean, each and every envelope literally was almost well pretty much even empty em even his his envelope i spent whatever was in there y'all <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so that's where the household money went to amir's the the food that we grilled for amir's birthday party and then grocery has nothing in there because of course again it went to amir's birthday party grocery gets 50. so we're gonna do 20. 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Y'all, I think I did this right this time. It was $290 that I budgeted, so let's see. Eating out is the last cash envelope. There's nothing in there. Yep, I did it right. Yay, me. Grocery eating out gets 20. So we are all done with our cash envelopes. So now we are going to go to our sinking funds. All right, y'all. So we are back with our sinking funds. And I actually got my stickers from uniquely sean her etsy shop i will leave on the screen of course you guys know i can't wait i um <laughs> i already took the sinking fun sticker from here so this is the washi from mama's got a budget so that matches this and then i got the sinking fun sticker from uniquely sean I wrote out my sinking funds and we're gonna get right into stuffing. But I do want to note that, remember I told you guys, I went sticker crazy, okay? And um, 
I am actually a week behind with doing this video. So literally today makes one week since I've gotten paid. So I should have had $481.29 to put toward my sinking funds. But since I spent so much prior to doing my budget and my video, I actually only have $406 to go toward my sinking funds, which is okay. But I just wanted to note that this is not this and all of my cash envelopes and my expenses is not going to add up to $481. Well, sorry, it's not going to add up to $1,700, which is okay. But I just wanted to note that and tell you guys that it's okay just make sure that you stick with some type of plan you have some type of budget because you can't beat yourself up about not being perfect so let's get right into it father's day is right around the corner so you know i have to buy hubby something so and my dad so we're going to actually do 50 20 40 and 50 For our rent envelope, I also want to let you guys know that I did have to take out of this envelope because like I told you guys, this money was supposed to be for when we move. However, um, hubby's not working, so I had to put, I had to take $300 out of this and put towards our current rent, which is okay because I didn't have to touch my emergency fund. So we have... One, two, three, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five. So we have three sixty-five in here, and I took three hundred out, so that would have been six sixty-five. And I am actually adding only forty-one dollars, which is okay because we're still not moving. We've decided that we are going to wait. There are other factors into this move but the biggest thing is you know we're not moving with what's going on in the world right now we, we're just gonna sit it out we're gonna wait and we are blessed that we can wait and do that where we are so that's rent birthdays we are adding ten dollars so birthdays we have and i should be writing this down but y'all i'm not 20 40 60 70 5 80 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 we have 95 in birthdays and this is for other people outside of my family. Kindergarten, which is back to school, which y'all know I have a five-year-old now. So when and if school starts back, he'll be going to kindergarten. So back to school is $10. So we currently have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 dollars in back to school. And this will be for um, like school supplies and things of that nature, not necessarily clothes. I probably could get clothes out of here depending on how much is in here, but that's what that's for. Christmas, we are doing $15. So we have 20, 40, Twenty, forty, five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five dollars in Christmas. Car maintenance should be empty. 
Yes, because this is the first time I am stuffing since I got that new battery. Um, we're going to do 20. Which probably the next thing I'll need is probably an oil change. So, we'll get that back up. Um, Board of Realtors, you guys know I am a realtor, so I have to pay my dues. And that's too soon, actually, and this is not going to be enough, but that's okay. One, two, three, fifty. We're adding forty, so that'll make ninety. Three ninety. So it's close enough for when it's due. I'll be able to pull out the difference out of a check if I have to. Hair should be empty. Yep. We're going to do ten, so let's do ten once. Because my hairdresser should be open. Because I need to take these twists out and go get my hair straightened. Because, baby, I need a good wash. Because this ain't cutting it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can't wait to get my blowout. Get my hair washed and straightened. Because I can't do this. So, I'm going to do 10 in there. Nails empty we're gonna do 10 this is pretty much my sister's money because she does my nails one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i didn't pay her this time because there was no money in here but next time i will pay her but i did feed her so should be all right amir's clothes he gets 25 and Amir has, I have not shopped for this boy since school has been out. He gonna use, he gonna wear those clothes. Cause it's like play clothes, you know? He'll be all right. 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. So that's 125. 20, 40, 60, 80, 125. Amir has 125. And I'm kind of trying to hang on to his money until school starts back. Because I know I'm going to need new shoes since he's going to elementary school. My baby needs shoes. He needs fresh clothes. So, trying to hold on to his money. Car tag. So, that's not due until December. But, of course, that's what sinking funds are for. We have 21, 2, 3, 4. We have $25 in there. And... I'm adding 10, so we'll do 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that'll make $35. And I always renew for two years, so we'll see what that comes to. Facial, we're adding five, and we have and I can't wait for that either. <laughs> y'all don't understand. Well, y'all do understand. I can't wait to get to my esthetician. 25, 35. And we're adding five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that'll make that $40. And I think my facials are like $100. So, once I get to that, hopefully everything has died down and we can do our next appointment. But I'm not really in a rush. I can wait because I'm trying to save. Vacation, we're adding five, even though we're not going anywhere. So it's only 40 in there, which is okay because I think I've only been adding like $5 here and there to that. So that's fine. And I probably have to make change, but that's okay. Passport, we are adding 20 because this should almost be to where I need it. Yeah, this is at 80. So this sinking fund, so it's at 100 now. So 20, 40, 60, 81. So this sinking fund should be done soon. So I'm okay with adding that 20. I wanted to hurry up and get that done so I can fund some other sinking funds. 
Furniture should be at 50, yep. We're adding 50 for furniture. And we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, five, six, seven. So that's $207 for furniture. And again, that's for the new apartment when we do move. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I, I'm gonna need change. Y'all know it. Y'all know me. So, y'all yeah, used to it. It's okay. So, furniture. Actually, let me see. I might be able to get 20 out of here. Can I? No, almost. But I can't. It's okay. Amir's savings. Amir's not getting savings, and he didn't get anything from his cash envelopes because he got birthday money. So I'm just. Oh, and I actually deposited his savings into his bank account. So there's actually nothing in here. That's just a tracker of what I had put in there. The family reunion, which um, I think we decided we're not going, which is okay, but you know, it's life, and when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Um, I don't have change. Family reunion is going to get 10, so hold on, let's do this. I think facial head. Five, 10, 15, 15, 20. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna add 10 to the reunion. Because this money, I can still move. And I have an idea of where I want to move it. But we'll see. Because there's 20, 40, 60, 80. There's 100 in here. So I'm going to add 10 to that. My clothes get 25. 25. And I actually have money left, and I don't know why. My money, I have 40. So now I have 65. And then this last 50, I actually added, so that's 20, 40. Y'all, the stress. I'll figure it out because I still have to I still have to go back and do my starting and my balance so I'll know what's left but 20 41 32 43 44, 45. it's actually supposed to be 50 I did 50 for a new cash envelope and that cash envelope is because I live in Florida as you guys know hurricane season is here so, well, it's here, but it's not. I guess it's early. So, um, I am taking $50, and I am going to put, um, start a hurricane sinking fund. And that would be for, I mean, if you guys don't know, hurricane preparation is calls for a lot of other things besides food. I need batteries. I need battery operated fans. This will actually be our second year in a row not being at my mom's house for hurricane season. We'll actually stay home. Um, normally, even though we've lived on our own, we still go to my mom's house. So I do want to make sure that my house is equipped for a hurricane. So I need batteries, battery-operated fans, I need lights, I need 
uh, more canned goods. You know, we're already stocked up for basically this whole lockdown is what I'll say that we're in. And I need to get all those things prepared for the season. So uh, we'll figure out what the rest of this came from. I'm pretty sure I miscalculated because I always do. But that's okay because if it's extra, I can always leave it as a buffer. And I will close this out and... Thank you guys again so, 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 so much. And thank you guys again for watching. You guys are the best. And I greatly appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. Go to my latest video and not my last video, but the 500 subscriber giveaway video so that you guys can enter into a chance to win some envelopes, some free envelopes. And I think I have some extra stickers as well that I'm going to be giving out. They're actually the Happy Planner stickers that you guys will... It's a sticker book that I haven't used. And I think I'm going to give that out as well. But I don't know yet. We'll find that out once we get to our 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.